Hi, it's Grandma Madores. This little read is The Last Words of Moses. When Moses was old, he said to all of the Israelites, I am 120 years old on this day, and I can no longer go out and come in. And God has said to me, You shall not go over this river Jordan. God your God is going over before you. He will destroy these nations before you, and you shall drive them out. And Joshua is going over to lead you, as God has commanded. Be brave and be strong. Do not be afraid of them. For God, your God, is leading you, and he will not fail you, nor forsake you. Moses also called Joshua and said to him in the presence of all of Israel, Be brave and be strong. For you shall bring these people into the land which God has promised their fathers to give to them, and you shall give it to them. God is going before you. He will be with you. He will not fail, and he will not forsake you. Fear not, nor be frightened. Then Moses went up to the plains of Moab at Mount Nebo, to the summit of Pisgah, opposite Jericho. And God showed him all the land, and he said to him, This is the land which I have solemnly promised to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your children. I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you shall not go over there. So Moses, the servant of God, died there in the land of Moab, as God had said. And God buried him deep in the valley in the land of Moab. But to this day no man knows of the place where Moses is buried. Moses was 120 years old when he died, but his eyes did not dim, and nor did he lose his strength. The Israelites wept for Moses on the plain of the Moab for 30 days. And then the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. Joshua, the son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the Israelites listened to him and did as God commanded Moses. But in Israel, no prophet had yet arisen from God knew as much as he knew about Moses. Thank you so much.